Hello and welcome to another video and today I am on my way to Brisbane where I will then be flying onwards to Mackay on board an Alliance Airlines Fokker 100. That's an aircraft I've covered before on this channel and I'm going to do it again because my original plans were foiled due to a cancellation. Um, anyway, on the way to Brisbane, running a little bit late, hopefully make up time and um, yeah, we'll see you in the lounge in Brisbane. Well, that's certainly a lot nicer than what I had on the flight from Canberra. Now, very short connection here. We've got about five minutes before boarding starts on the Mackay flight. Uh, it's an F100. Uh, I've covered one of these before. Um, certainly wasn't the plan today, but um, things haven't really gone to plan. I was originally meant to fly to Townsville. That was cancelled. Now flying to Mackay and making my own way to Townsville so I can make my onward connection down to Sydney with Qantas. Um, it was the only way this was going to work. Um, so yeah, it's the Fokker 100 at least. Um, yeah, anyway, I better get stuck into my food. I have a chicken sausage, some corn fritters, some baked beans, as well as an orange juice and that coffee. So yeah. Flying me up to Mackay today is this 29 year old Fokker 100 VHUQB. This one was originally delivered to American Airlines in 1994. It then spent about 14 years in Austria before getting delivered to Alliance in March of 2018. It has 100 economy seats in a comfortable 2-3 layout. Today I've selected seat 17G, which is on the right hand side of the aircraft in the third last row. With emergency exit pathways identified by floor level lighting. If oxygen is required, masks like these drop from overhead and from the ceiling in the toilets. Remain where you are, fasten your seat. time today was one hour and 20 minutes cruising at 34,000 feet up the Queensland coast. Okay so we are well on the way out of Brisbane now about 10 minutes late departing today so hopefully I make my connection and a bit of dust on the lens hopefully you couldn't see that anyway um, so yeah we're just climbing out of Brisbane um, this is a bit different to the service I got down to Newcastle where they only offered hot beverages and water. Apparently they're going to offer a complimentary snack today which is a little bit different. I'm wondering if that's the new standard. Um, hey, hello, a bit of turbulence on the way up. Now anyway, a quick look around the seat. Um, it is the same seat, uh, ex-Austrian Airlines seat. So uh, we've got pretty tight leg room. I mean it's okay. I'm not banging into the seat in front but it's not the greatest. Um, Look at the tray table, that's there, Let's see again, we've got really big chunky armrests and that's like straight into my side and they don't actually go up properly, anyway, um, so yeah, bit of, bit bumpy up here, um, we've got an old style overhead panel, um, there's an ashtray in the armrest, which is a bit different, and um, yeah, that's about it, pretty basic old seat this one. And this thing is absolutely screaming still. I love these old planes. Um, but yeah, it's just not the most comfortable. Now, hopefully I make it to Mackay in time for my connection. 
Okay, so I clearly uh, misheard the PA. I thought I heard something about snack service, but that seems incorrect. Um, just a coffee, um, choice of tea, coffee, water on this. Uh, is what I expected before the flight, so yeah. Still climbing out, or just uh, had a level change due to some turbulence. Um, yeah, and expecting uh, arrival a bit late into Mackay, but in time for my connection, which is fantastic. So I guess my only gripe here with the Virgin Australia service is inconsistency. I'm not saying you need to have a snack service, I'm, I'm definitely not saying that, but they have flights operated by Air North, which I might add was what I was supposed to be on before they cancelled it, that was meant to be my direct flight to Townsville, and they do offer a snack service as well as tea, coffee and water, and then Link Airways operating Canberra to Sydney also offer a light snack as well as just water due to the short flight time. So I feel by Alliance just offering tea and coffee when operating for Virgin Australia, they're introducing a huge inconsistency in service, which really does annoy me. Anyway, don't forget to check out the full landing and takeoff videos on my other YouTube channel, CBR Flyer Extra. Just arrived in Mackay on board the Virgin of Australia, uh, sorry, aboard the Alliance Fokker 100 operating on behalf of Virgin Australia. Pretty good flight if you're an geek. Not the most comfortable plane if you're a larger person like me, but geez, I love flying them. They're so loud. It's what I love. One of my favourite things. It's a good old loud engine. Anyway, if you've liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button comment and subscribe and turn that bell on so you don't miss another video on my channel and I'll be back next week where I'll be coming to you from Townsville with a, another video. See you then.